We're packing up our stuff and I'm waiting for the car rental company to drop by with the car. And uh, we're leaving for Desaru. Hey, oh, let's go! So heading to pick up the car at the lobby. Thank you. Just checking for some scratches. So now we have a car. There's a lot of freedom when you have a car. For the guys back in Sweden, this looks a bit strange. Uh, I'm driving on the right side. So last time we stayed at Swiss Inn in Johor Bahru was actually about six months ago. Uh, and then we were quite impressed. The rooms were clean and everything. But this time around, um, not so impressed. They could do with some real good cleanup. It looks like they've just gone in and just done a basic cleaning up after the last guest. So, um, we're not coming back to this place. Interior detail. And this one is loose because uh, I guess the worker didn't know how to fasten it. You have to push it in and t twist it to lock it down. But uh, it's all bent out of shape so it, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't fit anymore. And this one is loose. And here we have the shower door and the hinges are almost falling off. The screws are too small, so the plugs aren't seating properly in the holes. It's just pure luck that nobody got this glass door over them. The blunder isn't straight, and the area around the piping for the shower head is all cracked from when I don't know what they did here. And here we have a towel hanger, and it's, uh, it's not properly done. I almost get offended of all this stuff. So usually we don't leave our laundry at the hotel but this time we did and <laughs> we've been waiting for almost 40 minutes now because they said it would be done by 11 at the latest and it's now 20 minutes past 12 and it's still not here so instead of leaving for Desaru before 12 o'clock we are still waiting for the laundry. Not so happy. So the expressways or the highways in Malaysia are told you pay a small fee to drive on them. If you want to you can go on the smaller roads but they are usually not in as good a shape as the expressways and it takes you longer actually than to drive on this one. Um, it's not that expensive at all if you compare it to the uh, tolls you pay in Europe for example um, and actually it's really nice. So we're going for some food at an Indian restaurant and it's a Nasi Kanda restaurant. They serve all kinds of Indian dishes. Some chicken, curry, and fish, some fish, vegetables, curry, orange juice, migoreng, migoreng. Dropping off some laundry at the laundry service. Um, when we travel, we try to pack light. I mean, we pack, maybe this time we're staying five weeks, but we packed for about less than a week of worth of clothing. So instead we use the local laundrettes. So, sand and sandals. Is, this, is it the name? Yeah. This is actually one of the safest cars uh, the Malaysian car company Proton has produced. It's the Proton Preve. It, it has a type of uh, roll cage. Uh, construction a technology from Germany I think uh, from uh, BMW the roll cage construction is made uh, uh, with uh, they use the type of hot press to form the metal so it's really rigid and uh, strong the car actually got the five star and cap rating it's a safe car and the kids are amazed by the indoors playground so we're staying at the sand and sandals hotel at Desaru and we used to we have stayed here before when it used to be called the Polai hotel but now it's changed it's uh, used to be pretty beautiful but now it's really beautiful so I'm looking forward to seeing the room wow. <laughs> double faucets bed with a frame and the balcony. A 
bathtub outside at the balcony. The pool area and a bench if you want to watch the person taking a bath. And I have an area to sit and work with a really comfy seat. Standard shower, toilet, double rolls. So we are heading, hey, we are heading down to the pool area to check out uh, the newly renovated pool area. <laughs> Hello. Oh, a bit noisy, but uh, obviously they have some sort of arcade for gamers. So this area is the same as last time. I'm gonna check out the beach because uh, it's one of the nicest beaches in Johor, in my opinion, because it's uh, not so crowded, it's nice sand and it uh, stretches for about, I think it's two miles or something like that, or is it 22? And the best part about it is that uh, you're pretty much alone, it's not a crowded beach. So if you're like me and uh, like to have some privacy and have a beach all by yourself, this is the best place to go. So the corridors are open. It's really nice by the sea when, where it gets really nice and cool. With the car you can really get off the beaten track. And now we're at uh, Bandar Penawar and we found a really local food hangout with uh, lots of seafood and uh, satay and uh, all kinds of interesting foods. Steamed fish. Kangkong blachan. The fish was really tasty. As you can see, there's not much left. Uh, oh, there's some meat. Um, it was sweet and sour, but not sweet and sour Chinese or Thai. It was more... I don't know if this makes sense, but it was sweet and sour in a different way. <laughs> it's fairly good. So dinner added up to 59 um, ringgits with the, with the satay and fish and everything. It was really nice and tasty and fresh and um, yeah, it was a good day, end of a good day. Aye.